Okay, tonight we're going to do two blot. We're going to do ayin. We're going to do uh, pevav and pezayin. I'm going to ask everybody when I finish pevav, I'm going to have to end the session. So that breaks it off for the recording. When you end the session, it records separately. So hopefully you'll leave and come back as opposed to some people, once they leave, they'll never come back. Okay? Anyway, so we, we're up to uh, we're up to the Mishnah on Pei Vav Amid Beis. We're up to the Mishnah on Pei Vav Amid Beis. And this is all basically Nidorim Betoyis, Nidorim that I made mistakenly. Says the Mishnah. Nodri Ishtoy, now his, his wife makes an edder, Vesava Shed Nodri Bitoy, and the man... He thought it was his daughter that made the nether, a case of like Nairun Marasa, and he was going to go ahead, what? Or maybe not even Nairun Marasa, maybe just his daughter. She could be, you know, a Naira, a regular girl. Forget either of it. Not Nairun Marasa, a regular girl. That's less than, that's less than uh, 12 in a day. So he's made for the nether of his daughter that she never made. Nodra Bito Vesava Shinodra Ishtoi. And he was, and he was, he was, he made a, he was made for the nether of his, his uh, wife that she never made. Nodra bin Nazir, she made a nether to become a Nazira, Vesava Shinodra bin Karbin, and he thought she made Stam and to being a carbon. Or Nodra bin Karbin, Vesava Shinodra bin Nazir. Or Nodra Metainim, she made a nether on, on figs, Vesava Shinodra bin Anovim on grapes. Nodra bin Anovim from grapes, Vesava Shinodra bin Atainim. In all these cases, Harize Yachsir Viefer, right? He has to go back and be made for again. Because Hafara was not Hafara. So you see from here, Hafara Bitois is not what? Is not Hafara. Okay? Look at the, the Ran. How you say Yaksev Yafir? Says the Ran. Four lines down where it gets wide. The Hakoma Oya Fara Kamaisa Kim de Bitois have a Loy Mahani, Loy Midi. It doesn't count. Vachi is the Bitaisef to Behedja, Shem Hakim Bitois, Yachal Hafer. If you made Hakoma Bitois, but usually you're not able to make for Nether, once you're making the Nether, you would be able to make for. The Tanya Hassan Nodra Ishtai Vikaimla, the Sava Bita Nodra, and he thought it was his daughter, or Bita Vikaimla, the Sava Ishtai, and Havreze Yafa. So, therefore, what he can be made for despite the fact that he's Makaim Deneda. So, our Mishnah just described the case of, of Hafara, but who did it of Hakama? If he was Makaim Deneda, not if he was, no, our Mishnah just discusses if he was made for the Nether, he can go back, it doesn't count, and he has to do it again. I mean, the the Tisefta seems to tell you a, a, a bit. A, a bit of big of a chiddush that even if he's making the nether, and usually once you make him a nether, you can't be made for the nether. The, since the hakama was betoyis, you can go ahead and 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 be made for the made for the nether. Lemeimra, you, you mean to tell me that when it says over here that the 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 hafara is betoyis is not a fara. So the, the case where he thought it was his wife, he thought it was his daughter, right? Now it says the pasuk says v'mhini avia oisa. And if her father is, is waves, heavy is waves, I saw her. Now, her saw, I saw the Gemara is going to darshan, dafka, I saw, and not somebody else. In this case, the daughter, not the mother, the mother, not the daughter. It's got to be a shtickle like Lishma. It says, I saw, we're going to go ahead and shtelzich that I saw, from the word I saw, it's got to be that what? When he's made for the nether, and, and the round limits who are in Kiyam the nether, it has to be a saw for her, the person you're thinking about, and not an other individual. Okay? On that note, the Gemara now brings in a Pusik regarding Shol and Yehonasan. The, the backdrop over here is that Yehonasan and Shol went to battle against the Pelishtim, and they they were killed in battle, where the Shol was wounded and he was killed later by Naram Malaki. But the bottom line is, and then Armaleki comes along and, and he tells uh, David that Yehonasan and Shaul were killed in battle. And the reaction is the following It says, by Yisbadu, by Yivchu, and they were masbid and they cried, by Yitzumu, and they fasted, out of Arab till the evening, Al Shaul, Val Yehonasan, on Shaul and on Yehonasan, Beno, Val Am Hashem, Val Beis Yisrael, Kinaflu Becharev. So we're going to parallel, we're going to Tsushel. Nedarim to Kriya by Avelis. We learn now, Derek Agav, that not only for your relatives do you rip, but you rip for a melech like Shaul and Yehonah's son, who at the age of 30 was the Av Bezdin, who I think you rip Kriya on that as well. You rip Kriya for the Av Bezdin as well. Now, when it says Al Shaul, Al Yehonah's son, it's Mashma, therefore, 
the ripping has to be for the individual. In other words, just like the nether has to be specific for a specific individual, Kriya also has to be specific for a specific individual, which is going to lead to the following challenge. But Gabi Kuroyim, regarding ripping, Ixiv al al, it says al shov al yohanesin, Ixiv al shov al yohanesin, beno, Vitanya, Amr loy mes aviv. If they tell a person that his father died, the Kara and he writes his Kriya, it turns out it wasn't his father, but it was his son. Kriya, he be Kriya. So, in other words, we're going ahead and sushtelling the concept of Kriya to Nadarim. So, why by Nadarim, if you may for mistakenly is not Afara, yet by Kriya, if you rip mistakenly, it is a good Kriya. And just like it says by Nadarim, I saw the specific individual, so too by Kriya it says Al, the specific individual. Yet by Kriya, if you rip it inadvertently for a specific individual, it is a good Kriya. Masha'en came by Nadarim, it's not. So that's the Kasha from Kriya to Nadarim, from the, 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 the building the question off from I saw to the Al that you need specifically. So what's the difference? So Amri, the Bnei Yeshiva said, like Kasha, is a big difference. Ha b'stam, ha b'mefarish. Stam. If you go ahead and you told stam somebody died, you weren't told a, a specific individual. You were told stam. Then it would help if you rip. The ha b'mefarish. Yet if you know for sure, certainly, that what? That the, the individual that you know, and you, you, then you go ahead and rip for that particular individual, it turns out not to be that individual, then it would not be good. So Kriya would have to be on a, when we said that Kriya would help, you're Korea Stam. You're Korea Stam. If I'm Korea Stam, then it would help if I found out afterwards that it's not the person that, uh, that, that, that I was told. If you miss you told a specific individual and you ripped for that specific individual, then it, then it would not work. But who I did on Mishnah? On Mishnah, if you were Korea, if you made a net, you were made for Stam, it would help. But on Mishnah speaking, where you were made for, for a specific individual, and therefore what? And therefore what? It doesn't help. Let's see, let's see the, the Ran. The first in line. It's not when they told him openly Meis They said one of the people that you have to go ahead and, and rip on is Meis. In other words, he was told Stam and he thought it was his father. And it turned out to be his son. There you be, Yitzah. They didn't say may stam. They told him that what your father died. The kara al das kain la yotza. The al the al dafka. The chikatani amru loy may saviv lav dafka. Pirish guys, this guy thinks he's ripping for his father. This guy thinks he's ripping this for his father. The difference in both cases. The difference is what was he told? If he was told stam, and he thought it was his father. Then it would be good when he finds out that wow, that, it, that that it's his son. If, however, he was told his father and he's ripping on his father, then it's not good. So our Mishnah would be the same thing. If he was told then that Stam and he didn't know who it was, he thought and then he thought it was his his wife, and it turned out to be his daughter. That would be a good hafara. However, if he was told it, it was his wife and then he made it on his daughter, that would not be a good hafara. Okay, that's that's the difference between the two. But Tanya, we're going to have a very interesting Gemara. Usually, 99.9% .9 of the time, but Tanya is a Kasha, right? On, on rare occasions, it's a Raya. And we're going to have two uh, Tanyas on the same small blot of Gemara, right? Which are both going to be Raya's, which would be consistent with Mesech and Adarim being a bit Mishona, right? Okay. Vera Tanya. He said the rice, uh, Raya. Omruloi Mes Aviv Vikara. They told him, Mace of him, your father died, and he ripped. You know why? Because they told him your father died. However, they told him what? One of his relatives that is to rip on died. 
but again, they didn't. This is Stam guys. This is Stam. They didn't mention a, a particular individual. The Kasava of it, and again, he thought it was his father. So again, in both cases, the mourner is ripping who he thinks his father. The question is, did what did he have previous knowledge or not? So if the Korea and he rips the Akach Nimsevinoi Yotzi Yedei Kriya, you would be Yotzi Kriya. So that is one way to go ahead and and and, and explain this. It's one way to go ahead and explain. Okay, and, and our Mishnah again, as we spoke out, if he's told that his wife had Nedarim Stam Nodra that she made Nedarim. But Stam, he didn't hear who made the nether. Then, okay, then it's Stam, then it would be a good afara, even though he, he thought it was his wife and it turned out to be his daughter. Hashenken was told his wife and it turned out to be his daughter, then it wouldn't be good. So that's the parallel between Kriya and the daughter. A second teretz, similar to the first, just with a little different kinech, with a nice little lumbus, okay? With a nice little lumbus. Now we're familiar with guys with the concept of toich kidei dibur. What happens is, but you usually think about it, you make a mistake, so you have the time of Dibur to correct the mistake. Dibur, the Gemara in in in, in the Ruba in, in Baba Kama tells us is we say Shalom Aleichem, Rebbe 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 Umayri. Okay, this is not like it's Shalom Aleichem Rebbe or Shalom Aleichem Rebbe Umayri. That's the time Shalom Aleichem Rebbe Umayri. How exactly it works is a big lump. This we're going to touch on it a little bit. I'll speak it out as Hashem we see around. So the question is, when he, when, when the mistake, did he hear about the mistake or did he hear about the mistake If he heard about the mistake right, and then what, then it would be a good kriya. Who I did the neder, if on under here if he heard about the the the, the kriya the mistake after taikadeidibur, then we'd have to rip again by nedarim. Then we have to be made for again. Good says the says Ravashi. What's the terrace? Ravashi Omar. When when is does he have not have to rip again? That's when he heard Dibor. Dibor, right? And Masha Kane, when does he have to rip again? That's Lachikade Dibor. That that we said is Yoitsi's Mitzvah Kriya, Shinim Sibanay Bitakade Dibor, right? That he found out it was his son, Mitakade Dibor. Hadama La Yotsi De Kriya is La Achikade Dibor afterwards. But Tanya Araya, but Tanya is Araya. Someone has a sick person in his house, and the person faints. And the person thinks that the guys has died. And he rips when the person's still alive. Consequently, the person died. You're not Yotzi the Kriya. Here's that you have to go ahead and rip again. If the mace took place after they debur of the kriya, I will take the debur. If the mace died, take the debur that small period of time of take the debur. Then right, kedibur dami, and therefore you would not have to go ahead and rip again. The hilchas of take the debur is kedibur dami. Chutz from a few places, me megadev, someone who's mavarich the shame, someone who blesses Hashem. That's uh, not not right, not sagi no. Toivet kichavim. Okay, we'll see all these cases. Okay, so comes out, guys. Listen to this huge chiddush. Listen, to this comes out this crazy chiddush. You, someone tells you your father died, loyalenu. You rip on that smach, and toichkedei dibor. You hear that it was your son, a one son. He does not have to rip again. Why? Because that kriya that he did for he thought was his father is going to help for his son. Now, this to me is a huge chiddush because I always learn toichet de the following way. I have toichet de either to correct my mistake or I have toichet de to go ahead and the chalois of what I wanted to do does not occur in toichet de Here we're hearing an unbelievable chiddush in the Gemara. The Chiddush seems to be that your Misa has Teichedei Dibur to go ahead and work. In other words, my Kriya is not considered Kriya until the Zman of Teichedei Dibur. And since within this time frame of Teichedei Dibur, I found out the truth that it's my son, that a, a person's son, then what? It's Chal. It's, it's like simultaneously it works. It's, it's a huge Chiddush, fellas. I, you know, I, if I could see Rabbi Rosenzweig's fake, he's probably saying, one second, 
he ripped over here. How can it possibly help from down over here? It doesn't make a lot of sense, right? You, in other words, Lima Freya was a Kriya for this. What does that mean? When I ripped it, I one thought it was his father. You can't. So why does Tekle Dibudur? It corrects the problem and makes the Kriya what? Retroactively, it makes the Kriya like for your, for, your, for your son? And the answer is no. The answer is that if there is no, there is no, the Kriya has this span of time to go ahead and be effective. And since within that span of time, I found that the truth, Nimsa, the Kriya simultaneously was for one's son. It's a fascinating Kiddush, guys. It's a fascinating Kiddush. Okay, so now, uh, there's a, a run over here explains the difference between why these four cases, why these cases, in fact, what, why do we say the Torah Day Dibur, okay? So let's say, let's start the second word line. The Hilchasa Torah Day Dibur is, is Kedibur Dami. The Bar, with the exception, if someone's Mubarak the shame. Someone gets married, or Megarish gets the boss. Only two. The act of Megadev is included in the Zara, and Gerishin is in the category of Kedushin. The issue is to see Lavai, because you make a hackish between Gerishin and Kedushin. Megadev, Hainu. Shim Godaif, if he loyal, he 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 curses the Khaiza by Turkey they Dibur Le Havi Khazara. That's it. In other words, you don't have that time span by Megadav and say, I didn't mean it. Once you say it, it's there. You and 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 you chayer. But Ibir Vaiz Khovim Shimama, let's say he says to Ibis Khovim, Kaliat Eliata, you're my God. The Khazar boy says, No, you're really not. Le Havi Khazara, you are by the Zara. Um Makadesh Megaresh, Shim Kidesh, a Girish, if he Says kedushin to a woman or divorce to a woman, the chazab by tarke de dibor loy matzi hadebe can't change his mind. Okay, so that's that's the four cases, guys. But we don't say tarke de dibor kedibor dami. Now the run's coming to go ahead and ex- say why these four exceptions to the rule. He's coming to give a reason why these four are an exception to the rule. For loy adana, I don't know maishna hani. What's the difference? These four cases umino lahul rabban and hachi and had rabban and know this. Benirabain, I suggest the Ran, the Bashar Mili, the Lechemiri Kulehai, all over were things that are not so chamer, such as Magadev, and I've been away the Zara. Kisha Adam Isai Sam, when a person goes ahead and says something or does something, Loi Bigamai Daita Hu Isa, Ella Daita Shiachalach, the Bai Tarkade Dibor. The Ran is giving a svar why Tarkade Dibor works, that anything a person does, there's a chalois of something, a person leaves himself a little window to change his mind. That little window is Torah Dibur. So if it's a normal, normal case that's not so severe, a person will go ahead and leave his zman of Torah Dibur in, in, in order to uh, to, to um, change his mind. That's a normal case. Good. So there's no, there's no gemiris das. There's no like a finality to his statement until Torah Dibur. Will, which is which is the seems to be a svara that there's no chalois teichet de dibur. Again, is the the hakir in yeshiva is do I have time to change my mind teichet de dibur or is no chalois teichet de dibur? Seems to be here there's no chalois. Either way, it seems both ways. I, again, I, I don't know the nafkamina, but that's that's the hakira that I, I remember. Anyway, avahani kivin the chamiri kuli hai. These four things megadei for everybody the zara megadei megarish since they're very severe ain adam oisa isam. When a guy decides to be Makadish and Isha, I hope that he it's not something that on a whim he did and that he's leaving himself time to go ahead right and change his mind. If he decides to divorce his wife, I hope he doesn't go ahead and do it on a whim that what? There's severe things. If he's loyal, I'm sure he, he thought long and hard before he did it. And the same thing happened by the Zara. So in other words, he's not, there's a gemir is das by these four things. That gemir is das takes away the turkey they do, but it doesn't exist. It doesn't work. Therefore, it doesn't help. Okay, anyway. So that's that's a svara. 
So again, we have Toike Dei Dibor. The Chiddush of Agamara is a unique Chiddush, guys. Again, you're telling me within this time frame over here, what I do over here is not Nigmar till over here. In other words, it's not completed till Toike Dei Dibor. Simultaneously, when Toike Dei Dibor happens, guys, it's as if I ripped it over here. In other words, you hear what I'm telling you? It's not Pshat Lemafreya, fellas. It's not Pshat retroactively. He thought he was ripping for his father, but he finds that Toike Dei Dibor, it was his son. Retroactively, he was ripping for his son. That's not the Pshat. Pshat is that this Kriya is not completed until this point in time. At this point in time, he already finds out the truth. And that's the lumdus of the Toike Dei Dibor in Agamara. It's a beautiful lumdus that the mice of Kriya is not complete until Toike Dei Dibor. And within that period of time, he taka heard the truth, and that would be the Pshat in, in, in this Gemara. So uh, I'd like to go ahead, and, and now I'm going to tune you out, and, and please come back in, okay? Give me 30 seconds.